Good morning from the Philippines. This is Casa Texpina. We're on build day number 67. Beautiful morning here in the Philippines. Uh, we are continuing with the cornering of the windows, putting on the roof beams, working the, the steel the rebar, getting those put in place. They are continuing with the plaster coating in the main part of the house now, working into the uh, dining room and office area. Uh, they are continuing in the master bath and master closet to continue to do the same. And the uh, electrician is continuing to rough in um, some of the outlets uh, throughout the living room area. And that's pretty much a good start for where everybody's at this morning. Thanks for showing up. Um, continuing to watch and support our channel and uh, let's get started. All right, doing the initial walk around this morning, see where people are at. Mr. Jojo is continuing with the cornering for the windows in bedroom two. And I still got the guys up on steel doing the roof beams. They're cruising along. Let's go take a walk inside, see where everybody's at. <clears throat> In the office, we're continuing with the plaster coat. We're getting started up here. Mr. Justin over here on this side, wrapping up from yesterday. Coming back into the, the bedrooms. Go take a look in the master master bedroom. Got Mr. Puck, the electrician over here on the side in the living room, roughing in the electrical outlets. Coming into the master suite. <clears throat> getting prepped he's going to finish up the wall that didn't get done yesterday and then move the scaffolding over and start working on this wall so we'll follow him as he does this throughout the day okay this is uh wilson one of our carpenters he's uh putting a mortar uh sorry it's uh he's using mortar to build a a lip here on the windowsill I'll ask him, so can you describe to me what you're doing? So, the water, sir, cannot inside. Okay. So is it kind of like a weather strip then? Yeah. Okay. So it's going to come across and then you're going to cut, cut yes, here? Yes, sir. Okay. So the size have... is um, two inches. Oh, okay. So then the window is going to butt up right here. This yes, way, if it, if it rains, the rain's gonna stay on this side. Yeah. Not going into the Not building. going inside. Okay. Great. Thank you. Okay, sir. Welcome. Oh. Here's the uh, almost finished product. Just gotta wait for it to dry. So this is the molding. What do you want to sir? Molding. Mo molding. Uh, the other one, sir. Um, in Kapangpangan, Basyada. Basiada. No basiada, sir. Mm -mm. No? Nosing. Nosing. Nosing? Yeah, breaker. Oh, okay, a nosing. Okay. So not uh, the water is not going inside. Right. So you only do this on the bottom, not around. Well, you do it all the way only, around? Only here, sir. Only here? Yeah. Okay. Looks good. All right, 
minutes to take a walk around after after lunch um engineer's brother-in-law showed up that's the white truck on the other side uh bringing some supplies look like some uh two and three inch uh, P, uh the orange pvc here in front of us you see marvin uh relocating the uh scaffolding uh they're going to start working on the roof beam here on the west side this is above the uh, maid suite and utility room. Let's go take a walk around the rest of the house See where things are standing at this afternoon um, notice the Roof line sits the same as it did this morning uh, The welders and the plumbers neither one showed up today Mr. Jojo still hanging out in the window <laughs> Still doing the cornering on the windows up here in the front mr alex is working on one of the smaller sections of roof beam uh, between the dining room and bedroom number three let's go take a look inside see what's happening One of the gentlemen today earlier was chipping out parts of the column. Let me get a little closer so you can see it. Um, this column, when it was formed and when it was poured, actually blew part of the uh, forms out. So if I show you from this side, you may be able to see it a little better. Down here, you see it's got a little bit of a bow not so bad now but you can still see a little bit right here so they're chipping that out getting it flat first before they do the plaster coat all right let's go take a look see what mr ben is doing in the office all right it's got half the wall done almost done with the second half still doing the plaster coating Okay, take a look back into the master suite. See where our guy's back here sitting. Hey, let's go look at uh, Mr. Wilson's windowsill nosing is the proper word. So thanks to the help of a little bit of uh, internet searching, the proper term is a nose or a windowsill nose. He's smoothing it over making it look nice so from the inside it's going to have a very nice finished look and it'll also help for with the uh weatherproofing of the window from the outside so take a look in the master suite or master bath and closet master closet area uh, Justin and Jericho are tag teaming on the wall, getting in the plaster all put in. You can see they pop it on, nice big plops of mortar. Then they're gonna smooth it out a little bit, make sure to fill in all the holes. Use the trowels to screed it a little bit. And then they'll come back later with a screed and make sure that it's all level. All right, we'll, we'll check on them a little bit later. Let's see, where else are we? Let's go look and see if we can find Mr. Tuck, our electrician. He was last seen in the kitchen area. Ha <laughs> ha, speak of the devil, there's Mr. Tuck. All right, Mr. Tuck. Well, looking good so he's doing as i requested add the uh leave the conduit lines open until i get a chance to get them on video and he's still working those yep so it looks like it's going to start from over here at the 
uh, next to the this is gonna be a breakfast bar right here and then it's gonna come down go directly across the living room behind the TV entertainment center area and then it'll loop loop again catch the other one on the other side of the picture window it's gonna go down below the picture window across pick up and hit this one from here then to the to the breaker uh, you're gonna catch the one at the okay and then we're gonna catch one for the where the CTV is gonna be at um, in the breakfast nook area and then it's gonna do a home run a home run to the circuit breaker yes go to breaker from the breakfast nook good all right so that's about where everybody's at this this afternoon after lunch ah here's what i was mentioning to you early earlier the uh young man is chipping out the excess concrete to make it uh flat again like i said when it was being poured it uh they call it being buntis here it's uh not not quite pregnant but um it blew out the the form so it had a bulge in it all right we'll check in on these guys a little later
right, as you might have seen on the drone footage, we just uh, received a delivery of five inch hollow block. Uh, it's gonna take these guys a while. They've got 2,800 pieces to download. So we're gonna go take a look around the site and then come back and see how far they've gone. This will probably take them the rest of the afternoon. All right, you see Mr. Jojo is still working the windows in bedroom number two, doing the cornering. Looking good so far. Supervisor, Mr. Marlin, is measuring the bay windows to make sure when we get them uh, ordered that they are to the correct size. Let's go take a look up here. Whoops, sorry for the bouncy. Uh, take a look up here at the windows in the dining room and office area. Mr. Wilson completed the um, as we found out it's called window nose. It's a window sill nosing. Okay, so they make this little lip here add it on top. When they go to put the window frame in it'll sit flush up against no water in from down here and on the other side it, it's a, a smooth finish you wouldn't even notice so here he is he's still working on the one for uh, the office area he's getting ready to put the piece of board on top so he got, has a, a straight line edge and then he's going to cut it off take a look for a second yes very nice Cut off the excess. Nice, smooth, clean finish. And he'll continue that down the rest of the way. All right, what else is going on in here? Mr. June is still continuing with the uh, chip work on the bulging column for him. Mr. Ben is closing in on the, the finishing touches for this particular wall. So he'll probably have that done this afternoon. Mr. Tuck is still working the conduits and for the uh, rough electrical rough end in the living room. Looking good. Go take a look in the master suite. Oh, I found Miss Emmy. She's in here watching her favorite Masons. <laughs> They're still working on the plaster coat for the master suite, master closet. Almost got it to grade, so he's doing a uh, little bit of screed work with a nice straight edge uh, to make sure he's got it at the correct depth. Once they get that to the correct depth, they'll go back over it with a little bit more um, mortar and smooth coat it really nice. It'll end up coming out just like this. Almost looks like finished concrete. Now, once they get done with this, at this point, it, it's finished for now. Uh, when they get to the finishing work and they start painting, the first thing they'll do is put a skim coat over the top. They'll sand it, put another skim coat over the top, sand it, and then start painting. Uh, at least two layers, probably more. All right. Oh, we also got some uh, door frames in. These are the door frames. Yep, these are, as you can see up here, these are 80 centimeter, uh, one left and one right swing. So these will go in different locations throughout the house. Uh, I would assume both of these are for here in the uh, master suite. We'll probably have, we should have a 80, 
80 centimeter right swing coming into the bedroom and an 80 meter left swing going into the bathroom maybe vice versa i'm not sure um, we'll check it check the plans again and uh, they'll double check it before they put it in all right in the back of the house we have two more door frames this is a 70 let's see here this is a 70 centimeter left swing and a 60 centimeter left swing the they'll be for inside the house different locations um, the 60 meter left swing may be for inside the maid's suite to where she's able to go into her room the 70 centimeter may be to go into the bath her bath we'll have to again double check on the um, we'll go double check on the plans check with the engineer before they are installed okay you see these are uh, formed steel and welded and on the back this is the west side of the house over the top of the uh, maid suite and utility room they are putting in the roof beam so they're running the rebar uh, from corner to corner through the stirrups and they will go back and wire tie that uh, when it's completed all right let's go walk over and take a look at the let's take a look at the um, hollow block see how they're coming along like i said this will probably take them the rest of the afternoon They've got to go through, they've got to download 2,800 hollow blocks. Most of these will be used for interior walls and for the perimeter fence. We we're using the five inch hollow block for our perimeter fence uh, when it gets constructed. Mag YouTube kayo. <laughs> yep, vlogger. Well, guys are taking showers. It's uh, yabba dabba do time. Time for them to go home. Um, these guys are still downloading block. So they'll, we'll be here continuing afterwards uh, watching them download the block for quite a while. So, um, wrapping up a little bit of today's business, what got taken care of? Um, got lots of the roof beam uh, taken care of today. Had three of the windowsill nosing completed. I'd never heard of it called nosing before until I was talking to the carpenters today. Um, so it's called nosing. I would have thought it was a mold, uh, like a molding for the inside for uh, just for for looks but it's not it's actually got a function and it's to help uh, keep the rain on the outside the water on the outside and not have it come in through the bottom sill um, the, the electrician continued um, roughing in the electric in the office oh sorry not the office in the living room as well as the some of the masons were continuing with the plaster coat in the master's closet the master's bath got finished with the exception of one wall um, the office was still being worked on as well as the dining room so uh, the guys have been busy today so um, actually finally uh, looks like it is thinking about raining so starting about 2 33 o'clock it actually started cooling off a little bit which was a great uh, great need because the guys were dying out here in the heat so just straight sunlight all right well that pretty much wraps up today's business D day number 67 is in the books if you like today's video please give us a big thumbs up uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos hit the subscribe button or the casa texpina star just over here to the side if you'd like to know when our next video has been uploaded for your viewing pleasure hit the bell icon just below the view screen 
while you're down below the view screen leave us a comment let us know how we're doing and share with your friends so um, until next time y'all have a great day and god bless thank you for watching if you liked today's video please hit like subscribe and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available